Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating how to calculate the conditional PDF from a joint PDF defined on a circle of radius R. It is given the joint PDF of two random variables x and y. f x of f x comma y of x comma y is equal to 1 by pi r square for the region x square plus y square less than or equal to r square. That is for the circle of radius R. We have a uniform joint PDF. And the PDF is zero. The joint PDF is zero elsewhere. So given this joint PDF, our goal is to find f y given x of y given x equal to small x. That is, we want to find a, the conditional PDF of y and also the expectation of this conditional PDF. That is, y given x equal to x. Expectation of y given x equal to x. So the conditional PDF y given x of y at x equal to given x equal to x is equal to the ratio of the joint pdf is fx comma y of x comma y divided by the marginal pdf of x and graphically we can actually visualize this problem as follows given the joint pdf which is defined on the circle uh, this is y axis and this is the x axis and this is the circle of the radius r now the joint PDF is 1 by pi r square on this shaded region that is on the circle with radius r. Now our goal is to find the uh, conditional PDF across the uh, strip given by this line. That is we want to find the PDF of y across this line for a given value of x. That is uh, at x equal to x we want to find uh, f y given x with f of f y given x of y given x equal to small x. So, which is basically the conditional PDF across this line on the radius is of course r. So, in order to find the conditional PDF, we need uh, we already have the joint PDF. We need to find the marginal PDF of x. That is f x of x, and this is defined by integral f x comma y of x comma y dx excuse me dy we can clearly see that along this strip the maximum value i mean the limits of y are from uh, minus r sin theta to plus r sin theta so for a given value of x x is defined as r cos theta and y is varies from minus r sin theta to plus r sin theta it is along this strip for a given value of x equal to r cos theta that is at a given theta we have the values of y changing from minus r sin theta to plus r sin theta and the joint PDF is equal to 1 by pi r square on this strip. So, we are basically trying to normalize the uh, PDF across this strip. So, this is equal to integral minus r sin theta to plus r sin theta 1 by pi r square dy which is equal to 1 by pi r square into y the limits are minus r sin theta to plus r sin theta and this should be equal to 2 times r sin theta divided by pi r square but from x equal to r cos theta that is the given value of x uh, sin theta should be equal to square root of 1 minus x square by r square so by taking r inside uh, this function we get the marginal pdf as fx of x is equal to 1 by pi r square into 2 into square root of r square minus x square. So this is the joint, this is the marginal PDF of x. Now by using the definition, the conditional PDF of y given x at y of y at x equal to small x is equal to the ratio 1 by pi r square divided by 2 times square root of r square minus x square divided by pi r square. And these two pi r square cancel out. This is equal to the conditional PDF is equal to 1 by 2 times square root of r square minus x square. This is the conditional PDF of y given x. We can also verify that this uh, from the graphical representation of this conditional PDF. That is given that uh, given the information that the joint PDF is uniform across this uni this circle of radius r, we know that even the uh, conditional PDF should be uniform across this strip, but the area should be equal to the length of this strip. So which is obviously equal to uh, two times r times uh, 2 times r sin theta because the value at this point is always equal to r into sin theta where theta is the this angle between the x-axis and this line. So, we know that 
the conditional PDF should be equal to one by length of the uh, the strip in this graph. That is one by length of the strip, which is equal to two r sine theta. But r sine theta can be written as square root of r square minus x square. Therefore, the conditional PDF of y at x is equal to one by two into square root of r square minus x square. Now we want to find the expectation of y at x equal to give the conditional expectation of y at x equal to x, which is equal to integral y f y given x of y given x equal to x d y, and and the limits of y are obviously minus again minus r sine theta to plus r sine theta y times one by two into square root of r square minus x square d y. This is obviously an odd function, and this is equal to zero. We can verify this by looking at the we know that this is r sine theta and this is minus r sine theta and this is zero. So clearly, since the PDF is uniform across this strip, the mean should be equal to the center of the line, which is obviously equal to zero. Conditional expectation of y given x equal to x for any value of x is a zero because the because this strip representing the conditional pdf is uh, symmetric with respect to the x axis thanks for watching